God our Father, we thank you for this special time together to celebrate your love and celebrate each other. We ask you to continue to guide us as especially as especially the second graders who received Jesus for the first time in the sacrament of the Eucharist on Saturday. Help us always to celebrate the gifts you have given to us to share with one another. We ask for your blessings on all of these church throughout the world. Send us the Holy Spirit and help us follow Jesus every day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I am a child of God. We are children of God. Let us keep our eyes on Jesus. The true body and blood of Jesus Christ, who is really substantially present under the appearance of the bread and wine, in order to offer himself in the sacrifice of Mass and to be received as natural food in Holy Communion. Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist. The Catechism of the, the Catechism of the Catholic Church reminds us that by the Eucharist celebration, we already unite ourselves with the heavenly lit, lit, liturgy and anticipate eternal life when God will be in all. The celebration of Mass is the bridge between heaven and earth. We celebrate the Eucharist with saints and angels every time we participate in Mass. Holy Communion is a lifelong blessing we should never take it for granted. The Eucharist is food for all souls. Transubstantiation is the process of bread and wine truly changing in substance into the body and blood of Jesus, although our outside senses still see it as bread and wine, it is actually the body and blood of Christ. Amen, I believe. Amen, we believe. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The followers of Jesus spent their time learning from the apostles, and they were like family to each other. They also broke bread and prayed together. Everyone was amazed at the many miracles and wonders that the apostles worked. All the Lord's followers often met together, and they shared everything they had. They would sell their property and possessions and give the money to whoever needed it. Day after day, they met together in the temple. They broke bread together in different homes and shared their food happily and freely while praising God. Everyone liked them, and each day the Lord added to their group others who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my, shep my shepherd. He takes care of all my needs. You are my shepherd. You are my shepherd. The Lord watches over me. He gives me a home to live in. He gives me water to drink. He gives me meaning to my life. You are my shepherd. You are my shepherd. Even when 
that I'm walking by myself in a strange place. I don't have to be scared. I know the Lord is with me to help me and give me courage. You are my shepherd. The Lord has blessed with many things. I will never be able to repay him for his kindness. You are my shepherd. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the boys and girls in the world who received Jesus for the first time this year, especially our second graders who celebrated this, their first communion on Saturday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parents and teachers who continue to guide us, to teach us how to love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor and homeless children of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we will follow Jesus every day of our lives by trying to do what he would do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the many prayer intentions in our prayer box. Ms. Kinez's first grade has many special intentions, asking God to stop COVID asking to keep our family, friends, and everyone in our school safe and healthy. We ask the Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. We have many family intentions. Lexi asks for us to pray for her family, her pets, and that everyone in, of her friends would be healthy and safe. Noel asks that we pray for her papa. Evelyn asks that we pray for her grandma. Dominic would like us to pray for his family. Gabriella asks that we pray for her mom, dad, brother, grandma, and all the birds. And Colby asks that we pray for his brothers. We ask the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Lily has a special intention for all the communicants, especially her brother who received his first communion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bobby asks for special intention for their first tournament. May it go well. May they play well. We ask the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Mallory asks, Lord, please help there be peace on earth. We ask the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Also, we pray for all the special intentions in our special prayer book and any special intentions that you hold in your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. I love you, Jesus. Church tradition teaches that the origins of the Eucharist are to be found in the Last Supper of Jesus and the command to break bread in his name. This remembering of the Last Supper became a central ritual for Christians when they gathered together. In the earliest times, the Eucharist was celebrated along with a shared meal in the homes of local Christians. Believers today still remember and celebrate together as a Christian community in the celebration of Mass. We take part in the Eucharist to give thanks to God together as a family. The Eucharist deepens our union with Christ and calls us into communion with one another. People throughout the world gather for Mass. This is because the church includes people from different nationalities, cultures, ages, and ethnic groups. Catholics all over the world are a sign of Jesus, drawing people of all nationalities, bringing them closer to God and to each other. The Eucharist connects us all. The second graders were full of anticipation and excitement on Saturday for their First Communion. They join with us and the whole Catholic community in coming to the table of the Lord. Not only in this special day for these students, 
but the entire rural church as we are all united together in the Eucharist. Their first communion was extraordinary and special. For others, their 50th, 254th, continues to be special. And even their 1,000th is just as special because we come to the Feast of Heaven and Earth. Dear Father, help us to remember that every time we celebrate the Eucharist at Mass, we are joining with the family of God here on earth and in heaven. Help us to be like the saints who gave, who have gone before us to do your will. Amen. <laughs> 